flavorless gel. <laughs> the disc is not necessary. What you want to do is take the little spoon and scoop the chocolate and eat it. Thanks for liking and subscribing to Snow Dogs Vlogs. Guess what, you guys? We're doing another Tokyo treat box. Yay! Which means more weird Japanese food. As long as we don't have to make any powdery stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You get the. Ooh, oh, you there? You the book? I, I get the chips. book. Yeah. So we, should, so we know what it is in English. Remember? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right, you get the book. We'll take the box. And All this right. is the premium box. Ooh. There's three levels. Ooh. If you end up getting one yourself, there's a small, a regular, and a premium. And this is the premium box. Oh. Hot flavored chips, just awesome. right into the hot stuff, huh? Dive right in. It says they are Caramuncho hot chili flavored chips. Hot chili flavored chips. Okay. Mild enough to eat lots, but surprisingly spicy. Oh yeah, we have the hard time with the Japanese packaging. There are scissors right there if you want. Nah, I got this. Awesome. Memphis is like, oh, I'd eat a hot too. chip. Memphis, I don't think you can eat a hot chip. Hot chips? Ooh. I like how they're not like super speckled with red. I don't like it when they're like speckled. Oh no, man, speckled. they gotta be coated. They remind me of spicy barbecue chips. Spicy barbecue. Mm hmm. Oh, there's an actual. Give me another one. There's a little extra burn there. Mm hmm. One other one. Woo! We're dropping chips. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's a good barbecue chip. It says it's a spicy mm -hmm. chili chip. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I like that. Yep. So these should be Calabi barbecued flavored Sapro potato snacks. They're like waffle cut potato snacks, but they should be barbecue flavored. What? That's what it says. Barbecue. It's got a picture of chicken yeah, on it and ribs. Ooh, chicken and ribs. What? That's what it says. Oh, one or two. Oh, man. One. Greg says, oh, man. <laughs> Corn pops with chicken flavor on them. Yeah, that's weird. Wow, that's weird. <laughs> Those are actually pretty good. Reminds me of like a Trisket. Like I should put <laughs> cheese on it. Okay, you can probably have one of these. I think you can have one of them. And you can have one of these. Because I saw Greg just fed Shelby one. Oh, <laughs> she's not over by me. She's <laughs> over by you. Oh, is she? Oh, her she does I see her, <laughs> but I don't see her face. Well, I'm pretty good. Says, I am not eating that. I like them. Yeah, those are pretty good. It's like, oh, this is what you were excited to try. Oh, yeah. Wasabi grilled seaweed. Mm -hmm. Sounds bad, but I'm sure. Delicious pieces of seaweed have been grilled to perfection for you to enjoy. First word, delicious. You know it. You think so. It's going to be delicious. I'm going to say so. Memphis is like, it's going to be delicious. I'm going to get some. Whoa. It's seaweed. And they are definitely cut. And it's going to be wasabi squares. flavored. So I have a feeling they're small, so they're going like to be Is strong. it like one of them breath strips where you just put yeah. it on your tongue? Is it like fish food? Go, oh, man. Oh, man. Yuck. Yuck. You like fish? Wow. That's not exactly what I expected at all. It's like... Fish food. That's some bad seaweed. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like sardine... Oh, it's fish seaweed. Fish. It's like it's yeah. been seaweed that's been pulled out of I don't know in the, the water. And it's got a, it's got a little so salmon ocean? jelly. It's not bad. It tastes like fish, fish. food smells. Atlantic. It tastes like fish. <laughs> yeah, right. with, with, with a little Pacific. bit of wasabi on it. So yeah. If it had more kick, I think it'd be better. Right. Okay. Next. Go I got for a purse. To... Oh yeah, there's some Hello Kitty purse. Is there something inside it? Nope, it's just a Hello Kitty purse. All right, All right. okay, let's put that to the side. Here, I got something that's blue. This is raw Ramun candy. Do you know Ramun? It's extremely popular soda drink in Japan. This delicious candy is Ramun. Ramun, I think I'm saying it right. Ramun. And there's ramen. Ramun. <laughs> no, it wouldn't be ramen because there's a U in it. I smell a candy Well, apparently smell. there's a soda that tastes like this. It says if you put it in the refrigerator or the freezer, the texture and the taste will change. Really? Mm. What? what is they that? look like little ice cubes. Maybe oh, don't burp like... after eating the fish thing. Ooh. This should take care of that. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> it's like gum. Yeah, you feel like you shouldn't swallow it. 
Yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> it just breaks apart, so you have to swallow it. Okay, so swallow it. It's not going to blow bubbles. No. It's like, you ever find a stick of gum that was too old as a kid, and you chew it, and it just melts in your mouth? Yeah. It's like that. <laughs> it's really scary. <laughs> Refrigerator to frozen would probably be whatever you're asking. I don't know if I can get over that texture. <laughs> It's, it's so Greg weird. described it perfectly. That's exactly what it is. Like maybe, I missed out on the flavor. Stick, yeah, maybe a stick of bubble gum that's been sitting in the rain for two days. No, no, not in the rain. <laughs> and then it dried out for years. Like you ever buy one of the really old packs of baseball cards and you open it up and there's a stick <laughs> yeah, of gum in it and you yeah. probably shouldn't eat it, but it might have sugar on it. <laughs> right? You're like, I'll try that. Uh, wow. That was weird. Okay, pick something. As good. long as you know that's what it's supposed to here, do. Here, this right here. It's probably not bad. What is it? Mini. Them are the stick things, I think. Oh. Those are yummy. I think they're, I think they're like the um, mini men. The dried noodle things that you put on yep. Oriental. Oh. And I think they're yaks. They're baby star. Does it say baby star? We don't know what it says. It says mini. Mini. <laughs> Yaksab 6,000. Wow. I think it's this one. It's just a different color. So it's Yaksabosa sauce flavor baby stars. <laughs> Hi, Memphis. Memphis is like, Mom, I'm just going to go. Yeah, I think it's like a different, different color because yep. it's a different sauce. This looks like it's soy sauce or something. Right. Here. Oh, oh they are. They're like the little crunchy noodles yeah. that I like putting on the yeah, stir fry. Up. Maybe. <laughs> she bit my finger. Oops, you get a bunch of them. I bit your finger? <laughs> no. I'm like, <laughs> What's she did? <laughs> it's not soy Ooh. sauce. Wow! Wow. Whoa. Are you sure it's not soy sauce? Yeah, it's not soy sauce. It's a it's, sweet sauce, but... That's good. It's not yeah, soy it's sauce. Like, is very salty. Yeah. It's like I suddenly ate noodles. <laughs> yeah. I ate them all, guys. Wow. There's the wasabi. Here. Or the Get down. seaweed. Get down. <laughs> wow. They're not bad. Mm -mm. They're just weird. They'd be good on... Weird. Food. What is that? What? There's a bunch yes. of what is that? Pop rocks. I think oh, it's red. pop rocks. Why does it look like little red raisins? It's plum. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh. My What's your favorite flavor? Plum Pati Shan. The yummy flavors of crisp plum give off a bitter and sweet vibe for these crunchy morsels. As you eat the snack, you'll begin to feel the bits crackling inside your mouth. This leaves for a fun, delicious experience. Enjoy this snack alone or with friends. Isn't that how you enjoy most snacks? You either eat them alone or with your friends? Well, some people have oh, to be told. Sometimes I throw them away. Are you ready to put them in your mouth? Well, I'll do it at the same time and open up your right. mouth. Sure. <laughs> oh! Ew! <laughs> Why would you subject yourself to that? <laughs> oh, God! That's enough. <laughs> They're bad. If it didn't, drink, those yeah. are really bad. Let's do the drink. Oh yeah, let's do that. Look, Sakura Look Pepsi. Drink. I'm open it. Sakura Pepsi. I don't know if that flavor is gonna be any better. That's the same flavor, it's Greg. The oh, God, is it? <laughs> I'll try it. The combination of Sakura Blossom cherries paired with a well-known taste of Pepsi. So it's like cherry blossoms in Pepsi. It's limited edition. He didn't throw up. We're good. It's bubbly. It's like, more of that flavor. Mm -mm. It's bubbly, so it's not bad. It tastes like flowers. It tastes like flowers. It tastes like flowers. It tastes like you're drinking cherry blossoms. It's not bad. It's actually. not bad. I would take another drink of it. Yeah, here. It's not bad. It's, I yeah, like the bubbles. flowers. It's got a, it's got a good bite. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. I like that. It, and it really, More than I thought I would. And it really gets rid of the plum flavor. Yeah. yeah. I like that a lot. And I didn't think I would because it's flower flavored. And I'm not a big fan of flower flavored it, it things. I always think it tastes me, like perfume. Yeah, it but almost reminds doesn't. me of like a prickly pear. Yeah, like the prickly oh, pear juice. Yeah. 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 It's really good. I okay. That impressed me. That impressed me. All right. That might be my favorite thing so far. <laughs> oh, you can't get it here. Dang <laughs> it. You can probably have it delivered. <sighs> Next. I'll, I'll sign for it. Right? Little koala, little, Lottie. Yeah, Lottie Koala March. Custard pudding flavor. Oh, you'll like these. The packaging is themed for the month of March. Oh, show them the packaging. It's themed for the month of March. I don't know what it's that means, but. A koala coming out of an egg. Ah. <laughs> uh. 
Because uh, apparently... Guaranteed. Easter. Oh, I see. And one's dressed as a bunny. Right? I got it. Woo. Easter. All right. Okay. I think we need water. I'm going right. to need hot water for this, and it says it has to sit for a few minutes. And we need to build your own kit water stuff, okay. too. Okay. So we'll do that in a minute. Now this! My son's a cool rock. <laughs> oh, they got little koalas on them. Go ahead. And what are these? Custard flavored? They don't have stuff in them, do they? No. Yeah, they're yes. chocolate. Really? Nope. Nope. Custard. Size. Mine was empty. Mine had white. Let me try another one. A little bell and a musical note. Mine was empty, but Mine I had a hole white in the bottom. Like. Though that's custard. Mine has custard. Mm, this one has custard. Hmm. Yeah, I can try oh, that one. Those are pretty good. Those are pretty good. I hope this one's chocolate. They're like a animal cracker. Nope, it's white. Oh, and they're different pictures. All right, this one's got me intrigued. You're gonna be really interested. You're gonna be really confused by what it is. If it's not carrot. It's carrot chopped rice cakes. These mini rice cakes are a yummy concoction of dried, of dried and baked to perfection, crunchy and authenticity made in the, a rare prepared Japanese rice cakes that are light, crunchy without too much extra flavor. Yeah. Mm. So they're rice, rice cakes. cakes. Do they just look like carrot? I don't know. It says chopped carrot rice cake, so I'm assuming it's going to oh. taste like carrot. I like carrot. Does it smell like carrots? This is going to freak you out. Okay, are you ready? Here, go ahead. Oh, they're not it's orange. Puffed rice. Oh! They're not orange. But are they. Don't eat the paper, you weirdo. But are they just puffed rice? Oh, yeah. And they got. Oh, they taste like that one cereal. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're cereal. Mm hmm. Um, oh, Golden man. Smacks. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Golden Smacks. <laughs> with the frog. Yeah. All right, give me wow. some puffed rice to share with the dog. That's really good. Once more? Yeah. <laughs> I figure I can spill these, the dogs can eat. Chef is like, this will be the best. I love rice. Oakley got mm. some. Mm, Where you at, Shelby? Where'd she go? I thought she was right under me. Oh, she's over here. Here. That one the dogs licked, so. <laughs> so don't eat from that hand. <laughs> you want one more? That's weird. <laughs> Very weird. This looks good. Chocolate Monica. <laughs> it's a traditional candy bar of Japan called the Monica. It's something it we really, really enjoy. Good. It says it's airy vanilla biscuit with dry puffed chocolate filling. So it's going to be like wafer cookies, which we always <laughs> reference everything to. You <laughs> ever notice like that we do cookies. that? Yeah, we I see that a lot. So how many of you don't know what wafer cookies are and have no clue when we say that? Oh man, can you get it? Hey look, they look like wafer cookies. They do, and they got something. Oh, fuck, I can open some peek. You do you want to have? It's like a Reese's. No. Nope. Oh, what's that? No, what's that? Not, not Reese's. Uh, crispy. Nestle. Crispy. Yeah, the crispy one with the what rice What is that in called? It. A crunch. Nestle Crunch. Yeah. Hey, it tastes like wafer cookies. It's weird. That wafer tastes like wafer cookie. With the Nestle Crunch in it. Oh, you can't have rice. any of this. Hey, Shelby. Hmm. You back? She's like, I really like that puff rice, you guys. <laughs> I'm pretty good. She's like, I ate all that. <laughs> Don't fall. It's not that Drop good. Drop your pieces right here. It's not that it's good. It's a whip cookie. Mmm. They're Maiji's Puka Chocolate. Crispy nuggets of brown biscuit filled with chocolate. That seems to be a thing in Japan. Oh, that's a weird box. Wafer cookie filled with chocolate? Yeah. Like the little nugget ones. Mm -hmm. like, the, cause then, like the mushrooms we had with the chocolate yeah. were in Japan. Mm -hmm. And then we had the little, the other little stick things with chocolate. The Pocky sticks mm. are like a wafer cookie with chocolate. Well, I you like that you. most of them are in like this resealable box too. So you can probably right. just eat a couple of them when you're... It's like a same thing, but pretzel. Pretzel? It kind of feels like oh, a pretzel. Oh, it does look like a pretzel. It's the same thing with the pretzel. It's a chocolate filled pretzel. And chocolate. Mm -hmm. Oh, That's man. really good. Those are totally no good. Mm, that's a lot of chocolate. Yeah, for you? Yeah. For me. Mm. It's just a solid nugget of chocolate in the middle. What do we got here? Crunchy Z Panda. 
Z for the zagu zagu, or crunch crunch feeling that you get when you eat a mouthful. A mouthful? They look like, on the package, it looks like the graham cracker bears. Yeah. What are those called? Little bears. Oh. Teddy grams? Teddy grams! Yeah. I haven't had those in forever. Do they still make teddy grams? Yeah. I used to get them when we would go camping before we oh, had man, the Oh man, like one side's all chocolate and the other side's chocolate cookie. Huh. Is it chocolate cookie? Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Hmm. The recent recipe mm. has a more bitter chocolate taste, so you won't experience any kind of sweetness overload. Oh yeah, it does. The chocolate's mm -hmm. very like a dark chocolate. Yep. More cocoa. I could totally catch myself eating too many of these. Uh-huh. Yeah. There's a good crunch to it too. That's it. So we got left. All right, we got two more things to try, and we're gonna need liquid for them. So, yep. So uh, we'll be right back. So now we're doing a DIY candy thing. Apparently, this is a thing in Japan. That's weird. I don't know why anybody would want to do this, but M O C H I means little white disc. Apparently, it's not that's, chocolate. That's weird. That is weird. And then it says, so we have like a mochi and some green powdery stuff and then some little white discs and apparently you're supposed to stab one stab a disc oh they're all gummy and stuck together weird you i, I should have separated them separate them first and do them one by one and maybe? then get them wet <laughs> that's weird oh there you go oh so now they're really and then you sticky dip it though in the chocolate and, and then, then dip it in the tea. And then dip it in the tea, I guess. Do you want to do both of them since they're stuck together? No? Is that the one you want? Either one, don't matter. Uh, I'm just going to eat it off right. this little fork thing. I have a finger. Dip it in the chocolate. And then dip it in the tea. Hmm. The chocolate's good. Hmm. But the disc is like a flavorless gel. <laughs> The disc is not necessary. <laughs> what you want to do is take the little spoon and scoop the chocolate and eat it. <laughs> I hope it wasn't bad. Is Ugh. that stuff any good? It, actually, it should just taste like green tea. It does, yeah. It tastes just like green oh, tea. It tastes you like want to try that again? The chocolate? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't without want to try the, it again. Without the white disc, or I'm going to try the tea. Well, yeah, I'll do that. The chocolate is just chocolate frosting. The chocolate frosting. Green stuff is green. Mm -hmm. It's tea. just like powdered it tea. Tastes yeah. like, when it when it my eyes are water and I was laughing. Me too. Um, it tastes like green tea. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Not that's bad. all it is. I think it's all right. Green tea. And the chocolate tastes like chocolate. That oh, was yeah, the weirdest thing I've ever tried. Yep, I'll stay away from them mochi. Okay, discs. so now we're gonna try noodles. Noodles. Ramen. Cup of noodles. <clears throat> Hold on. Ooh. This is Baby Star Bonito Kelp. Yay. Kelp. That's what I said. <laughs> it says, this delicious noodle meal is a cup ramen styled dried dish in the Bonito flavor. What's a Bonito? It's going to taste like fish. I know it's going to taste it's like gonna fish. It's going to taste like fish. <clears throat> that we know and love. Enjoy a delicious udon noodle paired with the saltiness of seaweed. I knew it. And bonito flakes. What's a bonito flake? Fish flakes. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> bonito is a fish food company. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> yeah. I'll try it's this. like anchovies. Okay, I'm gonna grab this spoon. I say yeah. Save your spoon. Yep. We're supposed to eat more. We're supposed to save your spoon. Lick it clean. That's my spoon anyway. You don't like soup spoons. I can't really get like more much. more than yeah a little bit without getting a lot. Just do it. Watch, it's, it's hot. Probably it hot. is hot. But they just keep falling off the. Th I need chopsticks. It's hot. Don't burn yourself. It's hot. <laughs> Don't burn yourself. Keep your phone. Lick it clean because it was delicious. Oh my god! It just reminds me of like anchovies. Yeah. Fish. It if just, you were to make a it smells like fish. Fish flavored ramen. 
That's exactly what it would taste like. Now, I like the shrimp ramen. Well, shrimp is different. Than shrimp is not a fish. fish. <laughs> <laughs> That's like you're saying, you know, oh, you know what? I like chicken ramen. Yeah. <laughs> I like chicken ramen. Why don't I like fish ramen? Yeah. Huh, weird. Tuna is the chicken of the sea. Yeah. That's horrible. <laughs> Now, if it were but tuna, but I guess if you always ate fish, like if fish was like oh, something yeah. you always ate, it's probably really good. It's, to mm -hmm. me, it's not that bad because it just tastes like fish. Yeah, I would actually eat another bite of that. I, I don't think I would. If it, it, it needs, the smell is not pleasant. Not at all. The smell is pleasant if you work in a fish place and you're used to the smell of fish. Right. right. So, what was your favorite thing in the box? Oh, uh, these noodles. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> That might end up going with the. I almost called it Mountain Dew. The Pepsi. <laughs> The I mean, oh, the chips were good too. The chips were good. And all the candy was good. The candy's the... always good, but if I had to pick a favorite, something that I would totally buy again, it's actually oh, yeah, that. this Pepsi. I would like to have one or two of those in my house at times. It would be very delicious to have a pink Pepsi. Pink Pepsi. Yeah, if I have an upset stomach or something. <laughs> I like it. I like, man, all I smell is Greg's fish. Mm -hmm. Fish soup. I don't know. Ugh. Chicken wafers weren't bad. It's not bad. This is good. I don't know. I like that. Yeah. I like the Pepsi. Okay. But the smell of it is just rank. Raw. <laughs> I like that cat food I have. That's what it smells like. So I what's your favorite? The whole sardines. Not the Pop Rocks. Not the Pop the, Rocks no. had an interesting You want to try them again? Yeah. I almost yeah. did. I almost did. But no. I leave the seaweed alone too. Are you sure? Too. The camera is rolling. No. no. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, really it's got to be, it it's really going to be unanimous. I'm going to have to go with the... The flower. The Sakura Pepsi. Pepsi. So there you have it, Americans do like flowers. And, and the dogs Pepsi. like the rice puffs. But yeah, the dog's mm. favorite would be the rice puffs. And actually, I like the rice puffs too. Is there a... But they just don't taste like anything. No, you gotta lick everything off your fingers. There's no yeah, napkins there's no left. Napkins. Oh, we'll get it in a minute. All right, you guys. Well, there you go. There is our Tokyo treat box. You can drink that. Um, <laughs> there'll be some links down in the vid. There's water on the table. Memphis is drinking. There'll be some links down in the video description below where you can go to get your own Tokyo treat box. Again, this is the premium box. And uh, yeah, if you want us to do another one of these, let us know. Because uh, these are definitely different. Like in comparison yeah. to like the mitten crates and stuff, like these are very Everything's strange. a huge surprise. Everything in this box is like a I thought these were I thought I knew exactly what these plum pop rocks were gonna taste yeah, like. I yeah, I thought so too. And I was completely wrong. Yeah. There is a different flavor there that uh isn't plum. Yeah. It, yeah, no. So let us know what you thought in uh Oh no, I have to. If you're from Japan. And Hold you've back. tried any of this stuff before, let us know. And hey, if you're from Japan and you want to send us some stuff, we would take more of this. <laughs> uh, Fish and chocolate do not mix. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Goodbye. Thanks for liking and subscribing to Snow Dogs Vlog.